mantan kumpuin jitsin jambalajan la chan sai luin kanji luin duin tim nyin tin da nyin ta nam da rab sai chin yin tin guin chi shin si chi nyin jen tu gar leng bam zin kan da yin si bin chen rai ma ri mun to yin tu ngai yin ji si we du cho yin kun la yin pu ji yin ta ri zi yin la yin tu ju yin di song du da ri chi du yin yu mu yin yi long lin ji yin cha du yin chong zi yin ji Ma ri min sen tu ngai nyu gu Chi nyen chen zi ral di nam Di nyen ta chen sa chen ta re si Yen di lun zo yin ya si tu vi ku Chu thai chu thai chu nhìn nhìn đi Tho lưu mình sẽ chẳng bởi yang lai rạp tu yên đi Ô mà rạm bà dân nà đi, 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 ô mà rạm bà dân nà đi Maram bà dân nà đi, 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 maram bà dân nà đi Maram Bhazanadi, Maram Bhazanadi, Maram Bhazanadi, Maram Bhazanadi, Maram Bhazanadi, Maram Bhazanadi, Kandain din ju shun loi tog bai yi Loin ju bun bin nang wa Zal tu yi su Kang zin ta warin din bam Chung zin ti warin din nang Gombo in jam yain te nye ni Kik me en par yain tong var shu Nying ji chen bo zi di nying me shen Sung ni mo lam chen bo ngay jie da Pe ga ta ngay chen di chit min do Dun ba tu jie chen la kui cha Cha ma sam jie me shi ra pa ro chi Ma jie me ga nam jie ngo ni So so ra ri yi shi ju yu wa du sum jya ve yim la ku yu cha cha u jin chun li pe me dong bo la yin jya ve nam chou rang jiu chun ji du Chen zo pe ji yin ten chong bar wa yin pe ma jun ni da lu yin pe zi jong lu bin lu du ar jya te wa ta Thong mi yin yin chong lan chu ji ta Yin ten ve na sha ji ve ji sha jin du chong ni nam la ku yu cha cha Hong Ming Chu ji yin ji po da ni du sum san ji kun ji ngo ni rang sum chu ku ngo sum ten zi ba Sāvī lāmī śāpla sūvāntī dāsū jūvī lāmā chū lāng jūng gūng jū tōpā pāvārī chīng jī lū. Tā nāmā jū. Tāpār shūpā nāng shīng rī lā rāng chū. Chū nāmā nāng kāntī jī chī gūn nā yāng tā kūlūng tī kāl chūmpū tāng. Ani nēkā chūmpū yīng jū. Ani kūlūng tī yāng ani kāl chū shū jī tī nī chāng jū kī sēm. Thayang, 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 Thayang,
So as we always speak for Dharma practice, the most important things is the motivations. And among all motivation, the motivations of the Bodhicitta, the mental set of the awakened ones, is the one that we need to give rise to. Uh, with that thought, then the intention of helping countless sentient beings from samsaric world, please uh, uh, listen to the Dharma session. So at this point, the subject matter, what we are studying now is the the perfection of the wisdom, the Heart Sutra, Prajna Paramitra. Uh, and uh, for this study, if we could uh, have a, a general understanding of the two truths, it will be very beneficial. Uh, so, in a very brief, uh, the two truths are uh, the one is the truth of how things are, the abiding nature of the things, and the one is uh, the things that appear to our deluded perceptions. Whatever we perceive now is the conventional truth. Then and then beyond our ordinary deluded perceptions, there is something else, we, uh, another way of being, that's called ultimate truth. But when we hear this, that there is the ultimate nature of the phenomena, we uh, at first, uh, are unable to disbelieve it. What we have trust in is the <clears throat> things that we perceive uh, through our ordinary uh, mind. We believe they are true. If what we perceive is the truth, then it should be something that is not changing. It is the actual truth. The very reason, the fundamental reason of <clears throat> the, our perception being diluted is that everything changes from moment to moment. Everything is impermanent. Yeah. Even though every, everything changes from moment to moment, they are impermanent. But we still think, you know, there is our permanent nature, a permanent moment. We have this kind of uh, grasping. For 
for this belief, then there is the theory of cause giving rise to effect and the identity of cause and effect, so forth. If this uh, very uh, way of seeing the perception is the truth, then it should be something which is not false or not deceptive. However, that's not the case. And uh, Majamika, in order to show us the actual truth, then they come with the uh, their great reasonings. Ani che zang ta tan dang aran zogi number nang de wang aran zogi denzin shu ni di tembari manorware sambegi tillo nor de ba ti norwa imba ngutu ber chavi chitu ten temba sangi ni ma ti ni pa gun pa pa lutup ta ti ni tan zo umi gi lubi nam ki ta umi ten zik chen po ri ba number siam ngala ti ni ti lo tulba imba norwa imba demba ma imba shi ngutu chen gri in order to show that our perceptions and the graspings are not <coughs> true, they are false or the deceptive, then teachers uh, from the Buddha to Nagajuna and uh, other <coughs> um, Majamaka masters, they come to show us the actual truth with five with in total four or five Majamika reasonings and they reason through this philosophy to show us the actual truth. The name that the name of the Tango Dujigi trade in so the Kewa Kewa Tia Judan Dewitz Lukewa Korangi Ranching Ogi so the Nebat in Yungura Tinzo Tanangaranzo Demba Tartu Nang Debati Demba Main Begi Tabla Tini so in order to prove all the compounded things which seem to be born born in the form of cause and effect are not truly established uh, not the truth and then Majamika uh, followers they come up with their reasoning to refute this point So, the first reasoning, as we talked last time, the four uh, the negations or the tetalamic uh, logic. First is the negation of the arising from self. Self refers to a cause and effect not being different, they are identical, and the <coughs> uh, cause always gives rise to cause itself. So that's what the uh, self means. Some philosophical school talk about causalities in the way that uh, the effect is present at the time of the cause they are simultaneous but generally the <clears throat> whether the cause produces an effect or no it's dependent on the cause being fully manifest
For instance, when we make a part out of clay, then it will become that part is already existence at the time of the clay. Part is already in the clay. It is there. And uh, <clears throat> however, you know, uh, the uh, actual case is uh, that. Whether there is an effect or no, whether effect is produced or no, it depends on the uh, effect being fully manifest or present. If there is a dichotomy between cause and effect, and the effect is distinct from cause. So this is the specific uh, terminology used in the Majamaka literature. So as these days we all are uh, aware of the the scientific uh, knowledge. So this is in a way similar to the point of the three uh, substantial times you know talked in the scientific literatures so in english we generally say uh, there's uh, the previous time and the later time the uh, the past time and the future time so that is in a way similar to this kind of way of thinking it is similar to what uh, you know, the scientists talk about the time, the time traveling things, that, that concept. So it is similar to that. It is already in a way uh, present in the one mode but <clears throat> whether it is fully present or no then from that uh, dichotomy then we kind of uh, distinguish the cause and effect this very way of taking things one thing is cause and the other thing is effect. It's a thing that we believe to be the actual truth. So, however, from the Majamaka view, so analyzed through those uh, great reasoning, then that very you know, uh, fixation we get to get uh, towards the cause and effect is not uh, tenable in a way. Mm. And the Majamaka says that if the effect is present at the time of the cause, then there is uh, no kind of uh, use of having a course, there's no function of the cause. Generally, the uh, cause, its function, its efficacy is to produce an effect. But if effect is already there, then it's, it, it has no use of itself.
the cause. Then it is a matter of the deuce again, the young deuce again, a gula ten chungar is lagura. Got gula ten go in the house, got tango in do good do what it was. Ten go in the house, right? And gula tango do the tambuche, deu jelly case and the gum chili motor chungura, do tango chungne, tell a ten name, deu jelly chung sungurala. Tatanda was a dinner namcha shark to maras, quit tango in yoga diggers. So then, in this case, we can really say that you know, the effect comes from the causes. Generally, causes and the effect has to have a you know, the difference in time. You know, cause comes first and the effect comes later. But when the <coughs> the effect is already present at the time of cause, then we can really uh, make this distinguish. Between cause and effect. So these kind of the uh, category uh, about cause and effect, then uh, the Majamaga says they are unable to accept. So in that way, also the cause always uh, uh, produce you know one effect all time, and there's no chance of you know uh, giving rise to put giving rise or producing another the third uh, effect. So it's always only one thing. Majamaga says in that case, and generally, uh, the effect and cause the uh, it's just uh, the different moment, first moment, second moment, third moment, and the fourth moment. But however, if that is the case, that you know, uh, effect is existing at the time of the causes, then there is only two moments. So that's what the Majamika uh, refused. Mm. The effect does not have to depend on the causes, and the co effect exists at the time of the cause, and the cause does not cease to produce the effect. So there is only one mode of a uh, one mode or system, and the cause and effect, uh, the system cannot be applied to all other things. Mm, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, if we generally classify the cause and effect, then it has to be in the way of uh, self and others. Mm. So generally, uh, when the cause and effect are at the you know uh, existing at the same time, then there's no way to kind of uh, distinguish the causal these uh, systems. And they are always, you know, always present at the same time. So that is the uh, one that asserted by uh, other traditions, and then Majamagas are not accepting this. Uh, no. So 
So then, in another way, so there are some tradition asserts that the world is created by the uh, creators, and uh, then, and uh, uh, things are already arranged from the very beginning. Then Majamika says this is not also attainable, not acceptable in a way. Yeah, they, uh, we can't really apply the causal efficacy to this kind of uh, situation. In short, all the appearance uh, coming in the form of cause and effect is not tenable. We have to understand this point here. And the effect coming in from the you know self and the coming from the other so forth these are not tenable and we have to understand this point here about being born from other cause, then Buddhist tenet uh, schools such as Vipassika, Sautantika, Chitamata, and Majamaka, and the first three among them, they accept the things being born from others. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, not Majamika. Majamika is not included. But uh, when it comes to the Majamika, then Majamika do not accept uh, this point, these assertions of three other Buddhist tenet systems. Yeah, then. Uh, among the Majamaka uh, reasoning, the one that we talked about last time, the investigating the cause, the Vajra Splendor. Generally, when we talk about truth, then <clears throat> truth is only one single unchanging, and the other tradition there asserts this to be truly established, inherently established. But then Majamaka refute this assertion of the hypothetically and inherently uh, existent things. So today we can look at the effect in Majamaka, the investigating the effect, the refuting the existence and the non-existence of the effect. And uh, we can look at the birth through this. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> the result now oh sorry earlier I probably said cause now we are point at the point of the result so <clears throat> then uh, here uh, in a way we are investigating this the result it's existing at the time of cause and or it is not that what we are uh, investigating yeah majamika says that if the result is uh, present uh, 
you know, from the very beginnings, at the time of the cause itself, then they say it's not acceptable. It's it's not possible. They do not accept that point. That report take it on double. Report much double double. That in there, do you think we need you to be able to? And you the legal mind of us. And you say Ming and Tabsa Maros. You say Ming the do you can call it Jimmy Tabura. Do you go to Tambu? You're there now, then you call it Jimmy Tabumaros. So uh, these reasonings are very, very similar uh, to each other's. And uh, <coughs> there is, they say that uh, the result, if the result is present at the time of the course, then uh, there is no kind of uh, point of having a cause. Even the cause, what we call cause or the seed, there's no point of you know naming or designating it as cause. So that's what Majamaga says. Pena Pamachila Puke says not true Puke, we get a lega yomara. For example, if <coughs> a parent uh, give rise to a child, then the job is done already. Chesanta, Gula Chao Meva Chagere, so do you tambu yelam. If we say that the result is existence already at the time of course, then the cause is in a way uh, the uh, it's it's yeah it has no function, it has no use. Right. <laughs> Oh, then uh, yeah, another point is that if uh, the cause uh, could produce a non-existent result, then that's, that is also not tenable, what that's, uh, the Majamaka says. Mm. Generally, existent and non-existent are, you know, opposed to each other, and uh, those uh, the opposing phenomena, the contrasting phenomena, they do not uh, act in the causal uh, uh, relationship. One cannot produce the other. Yes. Pena, anandu thandi nang de bi jigdingi chue di yebarawa. Uh, for instance, whatever we perceive in the world are existent phenomena. And uh, in the scriptures, the examples or the analogies of the non-existence are given uh, the horn of the rabbit or the flowers in the space. So those are non-existent phenomena. Even if we gather all the possible the existence phenomena in order to produce a non existent phenomena, it is still not possible to produce a uh, non existent uh, phenomena. If those uh, contrasting things, where things do not have a relationship between each other, if they could uh, uh, give rise to each other, then it uh, you know, uh, comes to the point everything, all the phenomena, or every phenomena can give rise to all other phenomena. In that way, the entire system of the world becomes something that is a uh, fallacy or a, a chaos. It's not workable things. So then uh, in that way the causal the system 
is such causal system is not correct. They say, yeah, Majamaka, the proponent of the Majamaka tradition, they say that. However, uh, we still, we ordinary beings, still believe that uh, the uh, sprout, you know, c comes from a uh, seed, and we could see that in our real life, and we still say that it's it's working. The causal this. Uh, system is still working we say that shimbatsugi saben tamne shingi lodo deu ken te ngando longje de ye bara de dembara wa ta ti marasen kanis la jure sa sam lo de shiki gire no we also get to think that uh, when we grow uh, the barley and then later we get to um, barley or any crops then later we get to enjoy the fruitions so how uh, can we say that there is no causal this uh, uh, the, co the how can we say the effect the result is not coming from cause uh, uh, but generally in order to kind of uh, <coughs> to talk or establish the cause and the effect relationship we have to uh, have a connection between them, or there has to be a connection between them. Otherwise, we uh, they won't be able to be uh, one cause and the other effect. When we say uh, everything may arise from everything else, so and uh, we could say that uh, this is actually not true and uh, you know things arises from other the the previous uh, causes and we will say that if uh, if we have to kind of establish a relationship between two phenomena then first of all there has to be at the beginning there has to be two phenomena if there are no two phenomena, then uh, we won't be able to uh, set a relationship between them. Uh, generally, we have this uh, causal relationship. <clears throat> but uh, from Majamaga's uh, the reasoning uh, the point of view then uh, we can't really uh, establish or set a relationship between cause and effect uh, there were already so many fallacy pointed out by Majamaka that if the cause and the effect exist at the same time. Yeah. First, uh, the cause has to cease, and then effect comes later. That has to be the case. Mm. The, uh, at the present of the cause, or the, at the time of the cause is almost ceasing, and then and the effect giving rise, uh, it is impossible, it's still uh, it's impossible to connect them, have to, you know, have a relationship between them. They are still different. <coughs> Future is not born, so therefore it's not existent. Uh, if we, uh, you know, take an example with the moment, uh, first moment and second moment, then first moment is right now, but then second moment is later. It's it's not born yet. So, as it is not born, it is not existent yet. <laughs> 
yobachigi mebala dewa kandi dubguri so in that way how possible how can we uh, find a relationship between this two things one is existence and the other one is non existent deni dewa sigindi yobanyi kangla dubgor sigin ngajo chitang ta kelingo gra so as we already said the relationship has to be found on the two existing things that we already talked and kesi keji ni ba dikke yung so kapsu then keji tangbo dikko de bare yang shikba me ba to simba me ki gakba ani me ba cha simba ta ko gi de wa tusa jo mari when the second moment of the cause is start to uh is start to be born then the 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 first uh, moment is already ceased we can't really have a connection between them that digi ngaran so eh ngamchi gi derwala tini pindi ki gire sekin ti ta shaktuk min dola so therefore and the point where we says uh, we can establish a relationship between cause and effect to time the later, uh, the earlier time and later time so this is also not uh, withstanding now is not uh, tenable ta taru ngan sambala ta rigba ta ta ume nang ne rigba dam de she ti na ngan jo ge singa nang la jik sabin dam ne ke de ba je thong de war de bare sambe ngan jo ya thong sam ne yong gure so even after all of this you know uh, majamaka's great reasoning we still believe that there is a cause and effect and uh, that we could we would say you know in our uh, so in our field we could see that uh, fact very well the uh, effect comes from the cause ta umegi lam ngobu ne chulgi samlo tangna te ngaranzo gi namara nang shakwa ti demba mare jumbare se ngodi shugir so then from majamaka point of view then it helps us to uh, understand or realize that all everything we are perceiving is just the uh, delusion they are not truly established that's what majamikas are trying to do they umegi lamshe indiga so ngaranzo semjengi jule dewike ba nange mare sen sungu yo mare nange re sungu and uh, from majamika point of view they do not denying that uh, we perceive things they accept that we perceive things inaya nang shawadi demba mare zumbare tela kunzo gi demba shugure so however they say that whatever we perceive is not truly established you know, our perceptions are deluded <clears throat> that's the the conventional truth that's what the majamaka are uh, assert ta din du ta eh ta kyun de gi nam sha din zo ta ume ri pa ne che in du te ne che tham che rang sing gi ma du ba rang sing se gi de ngaran zo nang sha wa nang sing gi ngo la che ni gi du sha pa tem bu si me ba re sung gi so then in that way through majamaka reasonings then the causal relationship the it's not truly established and uh, everything what we perceive is uh, not as uh, how we uh, believe to be so majamika in a way points out that everything is not truly established they have no true or the <coughs> hypostatical uh, existence in them generally all the phenomena are categorized into uh, compounded and uncompounded and the <coughs> compounded phenomena are generally comes in the uh uh yeah in the uh, the the cause and effect form or uh, in the uh, system then dumaje shebate duje meba samgi namba dogba de lagra so uncompounded phenomena are the phenomena which is not compounded phenomena the the any phenomena which is not compounded ta duje gi namsha di tanda ngaran chu gi namba nang dewa nang shinti demba maimba jumba dupsona 
As long as we are able to uh, establish that all compounded things are not uh, hypothetically existence, then uh, the uncompounded things are naturally uh, we can perceive them, uh, you know, not truly existence naturally because they are uh, kind of designated depending on the compounded phenomena. So, the, on this kind of yeah, uh, system of the reasoning, we have to be able to, you know, uh, reflect or think about. So, uh, in another way, uh, we here what we have to take is that whatever we practice, if we practice something which is compounded, then we won't be able to uh, have a proper uh, attainment. That's what we have to uh, now be able to realize. So, as our practice, if we practice on the things which is uh, impermanent, then all these are uh, conventional phenomena. What we have to, you know, uh, pr uh, practice for is something that is not uh, changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, um, <coughs> the uh, what we are introducing or the Majamika is introducing here is that whatever we perceive is not truly uh, established. Uh, there are uh, delusions. That's what they are pointing out. You know. Uh, analogies are giving for these points are uh, dreams and uh, mirage. However, we uh, ordinary beings are still <clears throat> unable to you know, take these points. We always uh, kind of live in the way that we are having a very long, long, long dream. So, therefore, the profound emptiness is, in a way, not very easy to realize. But uh, having said that, it is uh, not that we are unable to realize this uh, profound emptiness. We all have the uh, potentials or the seed to realize such truth. So, <clears throat> uh, like we talked last time, and the path of the accumulations, uh, the uh, remembering and the faith uh, and the contemplations, all of this should be, yeah, uh, what it meant here. Well, that is better than young so the first page uh, mm, at the very end uh, all of uh, the aggregates 
uh, should and uh, yeah should be seen uh, as the empty of nature. That's yeah. Oh, also. That we be think that do hala. Rangsing it tongba, so that rangsing it tongba, so that ngog it tongba in ba, so shui in ba. So in the <coughs> uh, Tibetan uh, words, rangsing it tongba, uh, which in English the empty of uh, empty of its own nature. So in a way, this pointing out that things do not have uh, their own nature. The rangsing it tongba. Number young dark bars, that I'm singing tongue body, young dark begone, tadang tea, the umitin six chimbo, she am allatin taku, that's all I'm gaps. So the <coughs> fact that things not having their own natures should be kind of understood, you know, correctly as Majamaka explained that what it says when it says the young dark the proper way. Tini Jesu Tao Sundigasu Yang Dabra Monsum du Tongindi Pabare Tatanda Tensing Latine Jabagi Guneta Kuegoni Ra Tersam Gigone Tersam Tawi Lugigone Tomani de Taco Res on that in the Jesu. So then uh, the term Jesu Tao in Tibetan probably uh, in English is in this way. So in this way uh, referring to this of uh, uh, <coughs> The truth is seen by this uh, a noble beings. So then it also pointing out, it points out that as all the noble beings sees the truth in this way, we are also uh, <coughs> uh, trying to or should be able to see things in this way. Mm -hmm. Solam the sugar can sad diggy, omitting the chimbo shiam, ala tune, don't need the coati, the Java semigon tacores on to not dish calling. So, uh, as we are talking, uh, on the uh, from the uh, point of view of the path of the accumulation, so then beings on the path of the accumulation should see this truth. <coughs> As how the noble beings is, uh, sees it, so through the uh, the approach of the uh, the influential uh, the the yeah the and the inference the the approach. That the tongani the lakong shine do that the kapsula lakong sugningi lakong sa the next one. Sugningi sugningi ah ah. Muy may ba sugningi lakong sa ano sa. So and this uh, uh, kind of uh, a way to uh, understand the emptiness on the path of the accumulation is also uh, refers to the vipassana in the way of uh, uh, imagery vipassana, sunyegi, imagery or uh, yeah, yeah, probably imagery vipassana. Yeah. Uh, if we uh, want to uh, practice vipassana, we have to practice it uh, in the way which is uh, beyond the cause and effect and the relationship. And the shamatha is uh, about uh, just uh, training our mind to be focused one pointedly, and this, in a way, uh, works as a support for uh, vipassana. And the actual practice is undertaken during the uh, uh, yeah during the vipassana. On the path of the accumulation, we have to meditate on emptiness. 
and uh, uh, the <clears throat> through the Majamaka reasonings, we have to uh, train ourselves on the realization of emptiness on this path. So, in a way, <coughs> on the path of the accumulations, we have to take a, an understanding that all things are not truly established, even though uh, it, it talks in great detail about the uh, house, about how things are not truly uh, established, but uh, we um in that that was young and so uh s so on this path as uh what we uh how we uh, you know uh, discussed it and the things the objective uh, things the external things are not truly established so in the same way we have to take that the uh the internal um, the perceivers are not truly established so so that then all other things are not truly established so in this way we have to uh try to you know to approach the uh, the realization of emptiness on this uh path ta ume lamne che re re ne demba mare se ma ngodu chi ngoda in a way on the path of the majamika it <coughs> uh introduced that uh, all phenomena are, are not truly established so step by step it introduced uh, it in that way yeah. Um, for example, the five aggregates form, sensation, perceptions, formation, and consciousness. You know, <clears throat> all of them, you know, one by one, you know, they are not uh, truly existence. That's what the Matamakas are trying to kind of point out. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, for the practice of the Vipassana, we have to practice something which is beyond all of these uh, things that are uh, refuted by Matamaka. Mm. So, then, what it is that uh, uh, lies beyond all of these things, then uh, we can say it is the um, emptiness. Yeah, the great and the profound emptiness. So that is beyond all this. Uh, that is also called the ultimate truth. <laughs> if we think that uh, the ultimate truth is existence, uh, that also not very correct. Yeah, if we think it's n a non-existence, that also not correct. If we uh, think it is both, that's also not correct. Yeah. Then <clears throat> it is uh, neither it's impossible to establish. <clears throat> In a way, it, the, it has to be uh, beyond our conceptual mind. <laughs> uh, so in a way when we do meditations and uh, if you think that oh there is something it's there so that's also not correct that's falling into extremes of the eternalism yeah. Uh, <clears throat> at the 
same time, if we think that oh, there's nothing, nothing is existence. It's like <clears throat>、uh, empty, like sky. Nothing is existence. That is also another correct way to take it. <clears throat> sometimes it's existing. Sometimes it's not existent. That also not a correct way to take it. That door don't know. Lohi zimbat nandar washi gugure. Uh, in short, it has to be、uh, beyond our、uh, mental fixation or grasping. If we meditate it to be、uh, existence, then it's not correct. And、uh, the Majamika already showed、uh, the, uh, the, through the、uh, Uh, the relationship of cause and effect, there, there is, cannot be a thing that is existent. Yeah, and generally, we have a stronger the fixation on the existent things. If we meditate on a tree, it will only be. Uh, shamata trainings, it won't be vipassana. If we yeah,、uh, meditate on the world and、uh, think that it's existent, then that is also the same. It's not、uh, vipassana practice, it's just shamata practice. If we meditate, On a deity which is uh, very uh, elegant or beautiful, and we think, oh, it's, how, it's very beautiful, it is very elegant. That's also not correct. It's, yeah, it would not be a Vipassana practice. Yeah, if we meditate <coughs> a, a wrathful deity, On looking very、uh, scary and violent, we think, oh, how wow, you know, how scary it is. If we think it in that way, that's also not correct. It won't be a Vipassana practice. So, <clears throat> in short, any practice should be. Um, uh, the fundamental base should be、uh, you know, without concept, you know, free of all the、uh, mental uh, fixation or the grasping. <clears throat> However, the、uh, not having concept doesn't mean that. We are kind of you know, being very sleepy and、uh, we cannot think anything we lost for thought, and we are kind of dull and、uh, out of you know, any <clears throat>、uh, imagination or completely lost for thought. That's not the case here. <laughs> It has to be、uh, beyond all of this. It has to be a clear and、uh, vivid. You know, others, the, the ways has this, you know, the aspects of being very ignorant and dull and dark.、Yeah. Uh, and at best, we have to be able to meditate on the things which. Appears, but at the same time, not truly established. Whatever we meditate, whether it's a peaceful deity or a wrathful deity, we have to be able to meditate them as the moon in the water. Yeah. Generally, we don't think the moon in the water is the true moon. Is the actual moon.、Mm. If we are asked whether the moon is in the water, we would say no, it's not in the water.
But if we ask uh, to, uh, if we ask whether we see it in the water, then we say yes, I see it in the water. Yeah, in short, we have to meditate on the things which is appearing, but at the same time not truly uh, established. So, then taking this to the uh, <coughs> tantric practice, it says in any tantric practice, uh, at the uh, beginning of the practice, we have to contemplate on the uh, you know uh, on the nature of the emptiness. We have to first kind of uh, lay the foundations. Uh, which is the emptiness. The thing is number sum get nam shak ni la kum ku ra. from the three uh, contemplations then uh, we have to start the meditation on the meditation on deities. The tang bu de la tong ni ki de shik yure. Yeah. Then uh, here it uh, mainly talks about this emptiness. The tong ni de la ko wa ji ko ne sam lo ji tang na yang ta gong du shi be ki ta ten zik chen bu xiam ga la so in order to understand this emptiness and we have to um, analyze through this Majamaka five great reasonings without this uh, great five Majamaka great reasoning we are unable to understand emptiness Generally, as a Dharma practitioner, there are two kinds. One is this uh, the follower of uh, devotions who uh, practice through devotion. The other one is the follower of the wisdoms who uh, practice through uh, through wisdoms and uh, you know, applying wisdom. So so here uh, <clears throat> studying this uh, heart sutra and uh, then analyzing through majamaka reasoning is the way of is following the reasoning the uh, following the wisdom sorry yang lama toba sangbu yukin chita loma theba yakbu yukin china di chira changba lama tu ne tene lame ngotu ne lome ngotu ne ta di gane dona yang nam to mebe ki nyam ne ji yongu re sem di shudang ko la Apart from this, if there is a great, highly realized masters, and then the disciple is also, you know, a, a truly dedicated, of strong devotions and dedications, then <clears throat> through the power of the master's uh, blessings and uh, uh, his uh, instructions, then the disciples will be able to. Uh, they attain the the ultimate realizations. There is a way. Yeah. There is a way to realize the ultimate truth, and uh, the uh, also the perfect the practice of the vipassana in that way too. So today the time has come to an end, and uh, yeah, it uh, has getting quite late. And uh, in the next session, we will try to go through the text by uh, using the <coughs> uh, the Majamaka reasonings. Last one, thank. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's uh, do the dedication together.
Thank you.